Yeah. This is Langwi Jones. I'm the online educator, Dr. Josephine. Today is another call teaching, and I've been taking through religion and science. Starting today, concord and conflict. You know, when I started teaching religion and science, I actually asked a very vital question. Do we have concord? Do we have conflict between religion and science? And that's where I'm starting today. And I've been taking it from now to we get to the end of December, because I want to atomize for us who are either scientists or science oriented, or those who are theologians or religion oriented, or those who cut across the two, religion and science. A critical examination of conflicts and concord in religion and science. This is part one. I'm doing a critical examination of the conflict and concord in two parts, part one, part two. Now I'm going to also take concord separately in some parts, sharing with you the concord that we have between religion and science, and then later on go to conflict why do we have conflicts? I'm going to deal with that. And like I said, Tuesdays from today is when I'm starting to teach that. And I don't want us to miss any of the video that is going to follow this video because we will learn a lot of things. The conflicts between religion and science refers to historical and ongoing tensions, disagreements and contradictions between religious beliefs and doctrines on one side and scientific theories, findings and methodologies on the other. The conflict can manifest in various ways and has been a topic of debate for centuries. And I'm sure it's an ongoing debate. And the more we come to the knowledge of God, people we know the various concord between religion and science. And even once you get to know the anatomy of human beings, you begin to appreciate that God is a master planner. Some key points illustrating these conflicts, divergent methods and approaches. Religion often relies on faith, revelation, and secret texts as sources of authority and truth. In contrast, science emphasizes empirical evidence, experimentation, and observation to derive conclusions and develop theories. That's why we say theory by evidence. The different methods and epistemologies can lead to conflicts when reconciling religious doctrines with scientific facts. Creation versus evolution. The theory of evolution conflicts with creationist beliefs found in various religious traditions, particularly those advocating for a literal interpretation of sacred texts. The understanding of the origins and development of life on art can create tension between religious creation, stories, and the scientific explanation through evolutionary biology. 
age of the earth and cosmology. Scientific estimates of the age of the earth and the universe based on methods like radiometric dating and astronomical observations often contradict the literal interpretation, interpretation of religious texts that suggest a much younger age. This creates a fundamental conflict regarding the timeline of creation. Miracles and natural laws. Religious beliefs often involve supernatural events or miracles, which are outside the realm of natural laws and scientific understanding. When you're talking about miracles, you're talking about supernatural things, they're outside the realm of scientific understanding of natural laws. So science grounded in naturalism and empirical explanations tends to question or reject any form of supernatural explanations leading to conflicts regarding the validity of miracles. Ethical dilemmas. Advancements in science and technology can raise ethical questions and challenges for religious communities. Issues such as genetic engineering, stem cell research, and artificial intelligence present moral and ethical dilemmas that may conflict with established religious teachings or beliefs. Geocentrism versus allocentrism. Historically, the clash between geocentric model of the universe, that is an art at the center, and the heliocentric model, someone had the center. Epitomizes, you know, some people, I mean, that's the heliocentric model, that sun is at the center, and then the geocentrism shows that art is at the center. So this epitomizes the conflict between religious doctrines and scientific discoveries. Prominent figures like Galileo Galilei faced condemnation for supporting the heliocentric model, challenging religious dogma. Interpretation of sacred texts. Conflicts can arise due to different interpretations of sacred acts. Literal interpretations often crash clash with scientific understanding, requiring believers to modify their interpretations, reject specific scientific findings, or reconcile the two in a way that preserves faith and scientific understanding. Moral and social issues. Scientific advancements related to human sexuality, gender identity, reproductive rights, and the sanctity of life can conflict with religious teachings and moral beliefs, leading to societal debates and legal disputes. Secularism and separation of church and state. The push for secular governance and the separation of church and state can lead to conflicts when the religious beliefs are at odds with public policy based on scientific evidence and societal norms. Educational curricula and schools. Debates over including religious doctrines, creationism or intelligent design in school curricula, particularly in science classrooms, highlight the ongoing tension between religious influence and scientific education. Navigating the conflict between religion and science often requires an open dialogue, respect for different perspectives and an appreciation for the values and principles that each domain brings, the science domain and the religious domain. Striving for a balance 
that respects religious beliefs and scientific understanding is essential for fostering a more inclusive and informed society. The Christian doctrine of creation supports a deep concord between Christian belief and science, yet it is compatible with this sort of concord that there also be conflicts. Many have claimed that there's conflict, indeed warfare, <laughs> between religion and science. Trepa, 1875, White, 1895. This undoubtedly is too strong war. There's no warfare. But obviously, the relationship between the two has not always been smooth and ironic. There's the famous Galileo incident, often portrayed as a contest between the Catholic hierarchy, representing the forces of repression and tradition, the voice of the old world, and the dead end of the past. And on the other hand, the forces of progress and the docent voice of reason and science, where we call faith and reason. This way of looking at the Mara is simplistic. Brooke, in 1991, from pages eight to nine, much more was involved. The dominant Aristotelian thought of the day was heavily aproristic. As part of the what was involved was a dispute about the relative importance of observation and a priori thought in astronomy. Also involved were questions about what the Christian and Jewish Bible teaches in this area. There's a passage like Joshua 10, 12 to 15, in which Joshua commanded his son to stand still, favor the Ptolemaic system over the Copernican, and of course, the usual questions of power and authority were also present. Honestly, you know, I love because I found this very, very interesting. I'm telling you, very, very interesting. I'm just going to now. This is a critical examination of the concord and conflict. This is part one. Next Tuesday, I'm coming with part two. But then I will now delve, like I said, into the concord areas between science and religion, and also into the conflict area of science and religion. I'm involved. I'm both a scientist and also a theologian. My first degree is in science. Well, my master's degree and my PhD, they're all in theology, philosophy of religion and theology, biblical studies. And I personally understand why core scientists will be talking more on empirical evidence, theory by evidence, rather than what we in religion faculty we call supernatural on faith or things like that. But I tell you, even medical doctors as of now, they claim that only God heals, they only try. So don't ever miss any of these videos. And I want your feedback. Really, this is a interactive teaching and discourse. What do you feel about the concord and conflict in religion and science. If you check my description link, you find my email, you can reach out to me. You can go on my website too. You find both my phone number, my email and everything. You can reach out to me and then we can discuss. Have a wonderful week. Love you all.